Now we're going to go through some of the front panel controls on the GR300. First thing we're going to do is put it in duet mode. So when we're in duet mode, you're actually hearing uh, two oscillators sounding together. Now we're going to um, check the uh, pitch transpose controls. I have the switches over here in the latch position, which means that once I push one of these switches, the uh, pitch offset will stay until I push the button again. So duet mode is working. That's pitch mode A. Let's try pitch B. That's tuned to an octave down. And we're going to turn the latch switch off. And when we do that, that means that the pitch should only change as long as we're holding down one of the uh, pitch pedals. Next thing we have to check is the uh, pitch sweep controls. And right now they're at minimum, and when we uh, engage the pitch controls, we don't hear any, the, the change is instantaneous, we don't hear any glide. Let's turn these controls to about 50%, and now when we hit the pitch controls, we should hear a glide. checking the pitch sweep foot switch control. So I've plugged a cable into the back of the GR300 under sweep on and off. And I have a Boss FS6 foot switch. It's just basically an open closed foot switch. And as I push the foot switch on and off, you'll see the LED turn on and off for sweep on and off. And with it off, <laughs> And I'm going to push it again so that the light turns on. Next, we're going to check the uh, filter modulation section. I'm going to turn the filter cutoff on the guitar all the way down. I'm going to turn the uh, sensitivity to maximum and the attack time to maximum. Turn the envelope modulation on. Now when we play a chord, we should automatically hear the filter sweep. And the depth of this effect is controlled by the uh, sensitivity. And the amount of time it takes is controlled by the attack time. Now we're going to test out the inverse filter modulation. So with the uh, attack time and sensitivity at 50% and the filter cut off around 5, this is what it sounds like normally. Okay. Now we're going to invert that. Turn the invert filter control on. Thank <laughs> you. 